Hello everyone, welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. American Pickers stars Mike and Robbie Wolf's coolest antique finds from $12.2,000 rare motorcycle to $1.8,000 ornament. Robbie recently uploaded a video in which he showed off his 1926 green Studebaker and two of its unusual hood ornaments. Stars of American Pickers Mike and Robbie Wolf have found a lot of uncommon finds while searching for antiques. With the aid of Jersey John Soleil, their co-star on History Channel, the antique specialists search the nation for unique and historic pieces to add to their collections. Get the newsletter from the U.S. Sun. Your information will be handled in compliance with our privacy statement. The most amazing pieces of vintage Americana that the reality TV star brothers rescued from oblivion after discovering them dusty and forgotten are featured here. Mike's Motorcycle Mike Wolf, 60, the creator of American Pickers, rode his classic Harley-Davidson through Tennessee this week. The proprietor of Antique Archaeology shared on Instagram stories his excursions while piloting the vintage helicopter above the Natchez Trace Parkway. The old motorcycle, with its faded blue tint, was seen parked on the side of the road in a video that Mike posted. The motorcycle has a big headlight and a rusty Harley-Davidson emblem on the side. As Mike circled the 1934 classic, the motor of the motorcycle trumpeted, showing more of the unique car. With a caption that read, Taking the 1934 Harley VL for a spin on the at Natchez travel, the reality star shared the video. After that, Mike posted a picture of the bike outside the Fly General store in Santa Fe, Tennessee. Always stop and chill at Fly General Store for a moment, he posted on Twitter. Mike has a lengthy history of selling classic motorcycles. The jersey as John and Mike Wolf work to rebuild a 109-year-old motorcycle. John Lass, this is what they do on American Pickers. In addition to a vintage bike display and a full-service motorcycle repair shop, he operates Columbia Motor Alley a vehicle dealership in Columbia, Tennessee. The television personality operates his vintage store, Antique Archaeology, in two locations, Nashville, Tennessee, and La Claire, Iowa, the area of his birthplace. MSP Lacizied Artificial American Pickers has started posting old footage on social media as fans wait for new episodes, which are scheduled to debut on October 15 for season 26. Mike and his colleague Picker Jersey John, 61, were shown in a video from last week, discovering the rarest motorcycle in the world. The companies of Mike Wolf, real estate, antique shops, and other businesses are all part of Mike Wolf's corporate empire. The History Channel debuted the reality TV series American Pickers on January 18, 2010. In the show, hosts Robbie Wolf and Mike Wolf score the country for unique items and national treasures that they may purchase from collectors to either add to their own collections or resell in their antique stores. Mike owns Antique Archaeology, an antique shop with two locations. In La Claire, Iowa, his hometown, one is located and the other is in Nashville, Tennessee. Columbia Motor Alley a 1947 Chevrolet dealership that has been transformed into a restoration and retail store, Columbia Motor Alley combines Mike's love of historic preservation with his passion for transportation history. A loft vacation rental in Columbia, Tennessee, is called Two Lanes Guest House. East Davenport, Iowa, is home to Wolf's Village Bike. Mossy Point, Incorporated. Productions is Mike's film production company working on projects with A-list actors, including Jason Moma. Properties M. R. Do. Tenant. While searching for antiques in California, the History Channel celebrities came across a vendor who had an antique motorcycle fixed onto a pole. In a confessional, John stated that this four-cylinder motorcycle is among the rarest in the world of motorcycles. 
we're not going to walk away from this chassis on a pole. Season 7 of the show debuted in 2012, and John is an antique specialist who enjoys riding vintage motorcycles. 17. Mike and Jersey John bought an uncommon 1941 Indian motorcycle chassis. Photographed by American Pickers on Instagram. John responded, It's amazing that we had an opportunity to even find this bike in the wild, when Mike inquired whether he was interested in the bike. These things are just invisible to you. It's unreal. Mike hesitated before offering $10,000, so John added an additional $2,000. Mike and John accepted the seller's counter offer of $12,000, $200 in response to the TV celebrity's offer. I can't tell you the last time I even had an opportunity to buy a 1941 Indian four-cylinder chassis, John stated. He continued, they don't show up. Robbie Wolf thrilled his followers last week when he posted a 1947 Ford convertible on Instagram for $16,000, winning him a rare vehicle produced more than 70 years ago. A closer look at every element of the maroon car, which has only ever belonged to one family, was provided to followers by the reality T personality on September 7. The movie then cuts to Robbie cleaning up two Lee tire signs that were up for sale while pointing out a few vintage decals that were still adhered to the car's windows. They're also dated the 1940s, everything for sale, he said. Beautiful Things by Guitar Tribute Players was playing in the background during the clip. In the comments, Robbie's admirers praised his most recent purchase. One fan said, The car is really made by the window decals. An amazing time machine. Precious time capsule, said a different response. Beautiful, I love the color, a third person said. A fourth person said, Yeah, man, cruising to heaven. Robbie acknowledged that the car and the tires were selling for $16,000 in response to a fan's question regarding the sale price. Original to be. Days before, Robbie listed an old automobile on his Instagram account, revealing that he had paid about $2,000 for a vintage hood ornament. Robbie posted a video of himself displaying two of the 1926 Studebaker's elaborate hood ornaments. One of them, an airplane in red and silver, was already strapped to the front of the car. The second item was an antique silver Studebaker Eagle hood ornament that could flap its wings, as Robbie showed in the brief video. I've never seen one this large, he told his supporters. Big, bulky, and domineering. What an amazing ornament this is. Have a look at that flying object. I mean, they made some really amazing stuff back then. They just built the most incredible accessories for cars back in the brass era days and the early automotive days of America, the Pickers actor said as the caption for his post. Commenters complimented Robbie on the $1,800 Bata asterisk asterisk ornament, with one even saying, let's bring them back. In an episode clip posted on the History Channel series Facebook page, Robbie spent $2,600 on a rare dune buggy. The video features Robbie and Jersey. John went to see his brother and sister in Michigan, who had a sizable antique collection from their late father. A dust-covered dune buggy was found by the Pickers Stars and Ryan as they searched the barn for valuables. Robbie clarified, You can't think of 1960s California without beach culture. The cars at the time were getting bogged down and stuck in the sand, and in 1964, Bruce Myers developed the Myers Manx, the very first dune buggy he went on. The Myers Manx was a lightweight kit car that Robbie said was portable. So it's on a Volkswagen chassis, right? inquired John. The youngest wolf brother examined the body during this time. Evia Blue is involved throughout. Of these, 99% were Volkswagen vehicles. They were created based on that chassis, Robbie clarified, adding, but this isn't the Manx. It's the Imp. It was produced by a firm named EMPI, and even though it was a knockoff, it was still really cool and valuable if constructed well. Ryan remarked, 
It's always the dune buggy that I remember. When will the dune buggy be released? Later, when Ryan's sister joined the negotiations, Robbie said that the imp would be worth approximately $8,500 if it were running, but he added, it's going to take some doing to get it there. Even yet, he acknowledged that the dune buggy was put together right, which is a positive, before making the $2,500 offer. In response, the sister placed the sale price at $3,000, to which Robbie countered with an additional $100. Grinning and glancing at her brother, she took up the offer and said to Robbie, I think that works. She is a lie Mike was ecstatic last month to have restored a $72,000 vintage Lincoln. A video of the TV star's car in motion was shared on Instagram by the restoration shop. Mike's Lincoln Zephyr was seen being driven forward and gently reversed inside a garage by a mechanic, as seen in the progress video. The TV personality's vintage car is worth around $71,500, as listed on the Concert Carsey auction website. The caption for the photo said, It's finally got this baby rolling on its own. A really thrilling day. Lincoln Zephyr. Like some kind of car-obsessed Dr. Frankenstein, Mike published the footage on his Instagram stories, whereupon the reality TV star remarked with excitement, at Afterman performance, firing up the Zephyr, she's alive. Fans were going crazy about Mike's 1947 pickup truck's unique features when he listed it for sale during the summer. In an attempt to pique followers' attention, the antiques expert shared pictures of the car on Instagram. Mike took pictures of the maroon truck from every aspect, even the wooden boards that were fitted along the bottom of the bed. Before relocating to Tennessee, he used the refurbished car as his main mode of transportation, as he mentioned in his caption, which he promoted to followers. Selling my Hudson pickup from 1947. For a few years, when I was living in Yawa, I drove this every day. Older restoration super clean boom stock truck. If you want to transport motorcycles, this sucker has a long bed. It costs 36900 wrote Mike. Adoration for the unusual truck was evident in the comments area when a number of fans expressed how different it appeared from anything they had ever seen. The color is absolutely gorgeous, a fan exclaimed. Another person echoed, man, that's a beautiful truck. Wow, that looks really wild and fits your style, said a third. Select Mike up. In a preview aired prior to the premiere of season 26, Mike was seen spending $4,000 on multiple unique Coca-Cola signs. The television personality has already expressed his love for the soda maker's logo by displaying an expensive sign from the company while organizing his antique shop in Yewa. In a preview video for the forthcoming American Pickers season, Mike took viewers inside an Alabama pick. He and Robbie dug through an Alabama collector's artwork and came across a ton of Coca-Cola placards. Those are Coca-Cola signs, and this Army-Navy surplus store got them all and painted them out in black, and then lettered them with his store name, said the dealer. I now have a photo of someone who has been stripped. When they're finished, they look really good. He continued by saying the restoration was done by a friend. One of my friends owns one of those. I believe it has a date stamp for 1948 or 1949 on it. He removed the paint and restored it to a gorgeous Coca-Cola sign, he said. Mike was quite interested in several of the signs, and the collector had eight or nine of them. In the end, Mike gambled on the signs and bought all of them for $4,000. Mike, in my opinion, bears all the risk associated with the $4,000. He's got a 4 by 8 sheet of tin, but if I'm wrong, I think the potential is enormous, the collector admitted in a confessional. Among the cast members of American Pickers since its premiere in 2010 are 48-year-old Danielle Colby, Mike, Robbie, and Sean. The History Channel has renewed the series through 2027, as the U.S. Sun exclusively disclosed earlier this year. After an unpredictable debut in December 2023, 
Season 25 concluded this April. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Trends 24, and stay with us.